Hello everyone, and welcome to the NX A to Z episode on custom cam configuration files. Um, the cam configuration file is the primary component of a custom cam environment, <coughs> and um, you need to customize a cam configuration file uh, first before you start worrying about post processors and part templates and all the rest of it. So, the first step though before you even get into the configuration files is setting up your environment variables file um, to point to your custom cam directory so the first NX A to Z article talked about customizing the environment variables file and um, talked about how to set up each user's workstation so that they would all be pointing to the same environment variables file and um, you know that file then could be on the network and maintained one file maintained by one person and everyone then having more or less the same NX environment. So um, take a look at that article and that'll kind of get you up to speed uh, to where we are now. So if I take a look at my environment variables file, the variable for the custom cam stuff is this right here, UGI cam custom directory and um, essentially like all environment variables customizations, you just copy this out of the default environment, vari environment variables file in the UGII directory and paste it into your custom environment variables file and then change the value. So in this case I've got a, a directory on my O drive here and that's what you want to do is just set up a directory on one of your network folders um, for all your custom and XCAM stuff. So if you take a look at that folder, that folder is right here, and these are custom cam configuration files. So essentially, the way you customize NX cam is you copy stuff from the mock resource folder that you want to change. Now the only difference is in the mock resource folder configuration files are inside a configuration folder but in your custom directory you don't have a configuration folder. The custom configuration files go in the root of your uh, custom cam directory. So to customize a configuration file, just go to the resource folder, pick out one of these that you want to customize, and just a real quick overview on CAM configuration files. If you've done NX CAM at all, then you've interacted with a CAM configuration file. Because whenever you create a new CAM file, the first thing it asks you for is the CAM session configuration. And that's what all these are. These are the configuration files in that folder. So if you pick CAM general, it loads whatever template you selected and it sets up the post processors that are available from the list when you go to post process and it sets up the libraries, tooling libraries, material libraries, machine libraries. It sets up uh, user defined events, it sets up the shop documentation. Um, so basically all of the things that you would change from you know one company to another or one uh, site to another or even one machine to another for that matter all that stuff is set in the cam configuration file so if you just copy cam general from the resource folder put it in your custom cam directory and then open it up you'll see all the things that I just talked about so um, this first line is the template set. 
This is the shop documentation. This is the post processor, post processor set, user defined events, uh, CLSF processors, um, more CLSF. These are all the libraries for machines and tools and materials and feeds and speeds. Um, there's cam wizards and then <coughs> the machining knowledge database. So all of this stuff is set in the cam configuration file. And the things that you change most often are the template set and the post processor set. So if you're setting up a cam configuration file for a milling department and they've got um, you know three or four mills then you would create a custom set of template parts for all of the operations that you typically do in that cell and then you would set up the template uh, or the post processor list to just have post processors for those machines okay and then everything else in here if you just leave it alone it's just going to pull this information from the default NX directory on everybody's C drive so this file was created from the cam general file copied from the resource directory <clears throat> and then the first thing I changed was this line so in the cam general file uh, this says like UGII cam resource directory template set whatever but I've got UGII cam custom directory so I'm pulling the set of templates from the custom directory and I'm also pulling the post processors or the post processor list from the CAM custom directory and the user defined events from the CAM custom directory. Everything else is pointing to the default mock resource directory. <clears throat> and that's kind of the whole beauty behind the configuration files is you only have to customize what you want and you can just leave everything else pointing to the default install configuration. So, <clears throat> so once you've got your custom cam configuration file and you're pointing it to the directories, then you just create those directories inside your custom cam directory. So here's the template set. And you can see I've got one custom template in here. And the rest of these are all just default templates. <clears throat> And then the same with the post processors. So I've got a custom template part, and then I've got a custom post processor list as well. So these two are custom post processors. The rest of these are just the default post processors. And you can just take all these out if you don't want the default stuff in there. You only want the custom stuff in there, and you can just take them all out. <laughs> So but we'll get more into template sets and template parts and post processors later on. I just wanted to show you how to customize the CAM configuration file. So essentially, you go into the mock resource directory. Well, first just set up your CAM custom environment variable file, or CAM custom directory environment variable. Then go into the mock resource directory configuration directory and copy out the configuration file that you want to start with. Um, CAM General kind of just gives you everything. Pretty much all of the template parts um, are in CAM General. That's typically where people start. And then copy that out, put it in your CAM custom directory, and then um, just change the uh, settings that you want to change. Change the settings that you want to customize. Leave the rest of it alone. And that's it.
So, um, stay tuned, I guess, for uh, the next A to Z article and webinar and on-demand webinar is going to be on custom template parts. So, we'll go into how to create the template set file or how to customize the template set file and then how to customize a template part. Um, and it's pretty much the same process. You know, you copy what you want to start with from the mock resource directory, put it in your CAM custom directory, and change it a little bit. So, um, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, see you again soon.